In this video, I will be showing you how to draw the above tangency problem. To draw the above tangency problem, you have to first draw the layout this way. As you can see, the distance between this line and this line is 152 mm. From the question, the distance between this point to the center of the cycle here is 102 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 102 mm. After that, I will place my compass on this point. Then I will cut an arc this way. Also, from the question, the distance between this point and the center of the cycle here is 146 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 146 mm. Then I will place my compass on this point. Then I will cut an arc to intersect the previous arc I cut. The point where the arcs intersect is the center of the cycle on this point. Now I will draw lines this way. The diameter of the small cycle here is 38 mm, that is the radius is 19 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 19 mm. Then I will draw the cycle. The diameter of the larger cycle here is 76 mm. So 76 divided by 2, which is the radius, that is 38 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 38 mm. Then I will draw the cycle. The diameter of the cycle here is 50 mm and the diameter of the large cycle here is 50 mm. That is their radius is 25 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 25 mm. Then I will draw the cycles. The diameter of the smaller cycle here is 25 mm, that is radius of 12.5. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 12.5 mm. Then I will draw the small cycle inside the big cycle. Now it is time to produce the tangential arc on this point on this side. We are aware that the radius of this cycle here, the large cycle here is 38 mm and the radius of the tangential arc from the question is 76 mm and it is an external arc so we we'll add 38 plus 76 which will give us 114 mm. So I will adjust my compass to radius of 114 mm. Then I will place my compass on this point, that is the center of this cycle, then I will cut an arc this way. We are also aware that the radius of this cycle here is 25 mm, that is this large cycle, and the radius of the tangential arc is 76 mm, and it is an external arc, so we will add 76 plus 25, which will give us 101 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 101 mm.
Then I will place my compass on the center of these cycles. Then I will cut an arc. The arc should intersect the previous arc. Now to produce the tangential arc, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 76 mm because the radius of the tangential arc is 76 mm. Then I will place my compass on the point where the arcs intersect and produce the tangential arc. Now on this point here, there is an arc of radius 85 mm, this way. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 85 mm. Then I will place my compass on this point, that is the center of this cycle, and produce the arc. On the point where the arc intersects this line and this line, there are cycles of radius 18 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 18 mm. Then I will draw cycles. After that, I will place my compass on the center of this cycle. Then I will adjust the compass to this point. Then I will produce arc. I will also adjust the compass to this point. Then I will produce another arc. From the question, you will observe that there is a line inclined to this line at 30 degrees and tangential to this cycle. To produce the line, you can make use of your 60 degree set square and your T square. You have to make sure this side of your set square just pass through your cycle. Then draw the line. So the angle here is 30 degree. There is an arc of radius 50 millimeter here. I can now produce the arc. After that, it is time to produce the tangential arc at the bottom here. The radius of the tangential arc here is 152 mm and the radius of the arc here is 50 mm. And the tangential arc is an internal arc. So we minus 50 from 152 which will give us 102 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 102 mm. Then I will place my compass on the center of this cycle and cut arc this way. Since the radius of this large cycle here is 38 mm and the radius of the tangential arc is 152 mm, so we will minus 38 from 152 which will give us 114 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 114 mm. Then I will place my compass on the center of this cycle and cut an arc to intersect the previous arc. Since the radius of the tangential arc is 152 mm, so with a radius of 152 mm, I will place my compass on the point where the arcs intersect, then I will produce the tangential arc.
if you observe the question you will notice that there is a line inclined to this line at 120 degree there is a line tangential to this arc here and inclined to this line at 120 degree i can obtain that line using my 60 degree set square and my t square so i will place my t square and my set square this way A vertical line from here is 90 degree then plus the remaining 30 degree of the 60 degree side of this this 60 degree set square we make 120 degree and I will draw the tangential line so the angle here is 120 degree There is a tangential arc of radius 25 millimeter here. So adjust your compass to a radius of 25 millimeter. Then place your compass on this point. Then draw arc this way. Also place your compass on the point when the arc intersects this line, that is this point. Draw another arc using the same radius of 25. Now place your compass on the point where the arcs intersect, that is this point. You can now produce the tangential arc. So this is the solution to the problem on the screen. Now all that is left is for me to make bold the parts that are supposed to be bold and also complete the dimension. The solution of the above tangency problem has been drawn successfully. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you are having challenge with any of your engineering drawing or technical drawing assignments, you can send the question to the WhatsApp number displayed. I will solve the questions and send a video of the solution to you. It's completely free, it will not cost you a dime.